They say there's nothing worse for a parent than the pain of losing a child. Tonight, a Twin Cities family is looking for answers after their son died following a routine surgical procedure. Maury Glover spoke with this family this afternoon. He joins us, joins us now. And Maury, what happened in this case? Well, Gary Bouget was two months shy of his 36th birthday when he died nearly two years ago. His family suspects he died from a condition called opioid-induced respiratory depression after going to the hospital for gallbladder surgery. And they want to warn other families about how to possibly avoid a tragedy like this one. He was the life of the party. He wanted everybody to be having fun, everybody to be enjoying themselves, and that's who he was. Gary and Gary Bouget. Woo! Family members say Gary Bouget was starting a new life with a new wife, a new restaurant, and three young kids. So it's hard for them to accept that a routine surgery could end that life so soon. My son did not have to die. He went in healthy and he passed away under their care. Something happened, and we want to know what that was. Gary had just opened his second restaurant. With high top tables and then chairs, and then you'll be able to get this whole view of the kitchen. When he went to United Hospital for surgery to remove his gallbladder back in April of 2014, he stayed overnight for observation. But his parents say learning the next morning he'd passed away from complications during the night was surreal. And you hear the words, but it's my son had gallbladder surgery. Gallbladder. It wasn't nothing more than that. While the medical examiner ruled there was no anatomical cause for Bouget's death, his family believes the mix of pain meds he was on caused him to fall into such a deep sleep he stopped breathing, and they are suing the hospital. Their attorney says even though nurses checked on Bouget once an hour, they should have used a fingertip sensor that would have alerted them when the level of oxygen in his blood went too low. The folks in the hospital didn't do what they were supposed to do. And the family wants justice and they want accountability. Nearly two years later, Bouget's mother keeps a picture of him around her neck. But knowing that what killed their son won't be repeated would help them heal their broken hearts. No mom or dad should be sitting here wondering what happened to their child and why that child died, in particular when all indications are it was highly, highly preventable. Now, Alina Health, which runs United Hospital, says while their hearts go out to the Bouget family, they stand behind the care provided by their doctors and nurses. Jeff and Kelsey. Such a sad story. Thanks, yeah. Maury.